Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. It's been a while. It feels like forever, but we're here for the Genshin Impact live stream special program for version 3.7, which drops within a week and a half. I am live at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash murder of birds. Hoyoverse is actually listening. They're putting in a timer so that way we don't get cucked on any content. It seems like we're going to get a TCG related event. Don't know what that's going to entail. 3.6 was kind of goaded with all the content, new area, new Archon quest with Nahida, new event that we just did with the darshan challenge uh yesterday and so i'm hoping that this is kind of minor because my all my focus and attention right now is on honkai star rail and if this is a minor event it'll be a lot easier for me to tackle it versus having a, another major patch they also featured an interesting fontaine character in the concept art i'll put it on screen if you haven't seen it yet kilala was featured she's gonna be the new four star inazuma character and then we have a character from fontaine and we're starting whoa you must be the legendary traveler. Who's this? I've heard a lot about you. Ah! Are you following the tournament too? Fontaine! It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter Shh. for the Steambird from Fontaine. Oh, Charlotte! The King of Invocations Grand Prix. Oh my god. Since you've also taken interest in <laughs> how would you like to be a special contributor for my column? Whoa! Well, of course you'll receive payment. Whoa, we're gonna be in the Steambird! We'll even appear in the credits. Nice. Look at her. She's so cute. Mm, tournament masters. Out? She looks like a cross Let's between Yanfei from Genshin and Asta from Honkai Star Rail. I don't know if anyone else sees it but me. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Let's go. Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Let's go. Wow. So this is the king of invocation. Yo, what a bop. <laughs> a card snatcher? Hmm. A very Yo, the rare hunters. Video They're stealing video cards. Video Kaya. Tournament as young prodigy best Favonian cavalry. <laughs> Down on the ground, the dice spin around. Oh my god, this music is goaded. Shines bright. Oh, are these all of the champions of each region? Yo, Kai is the champion of Mondstadt? Humbly accept this. Hu Tao of Inazuma, uh, Hu Tao of Liwei, Kazuha of Inazuma. Maybe? Crafty opponent. The nerve. Saying that in the Oh my god. Or maybe it's Yai. Yo, Iridori Festival? What's going on? Oh my god, what? She's in game! The walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. Oh my right, What the hell? What the hell was that? I'm too cold. I would be happy to play. <laughs> tournament? What the hell? The tournament. It's like a little cat. Uh, oh my god. At the opportune moment. And she has a camera like March 7th. Rest assured, there's no death. Oh, there's was that her skill? Thank you for choosing Comania Express. This music is so good. What the hell? Kilala! Oh my god. Oh, she's... All right, Dendro? <laughs> Wait, did she turn into the box? Or is that like a companion? Oh my god. All right, that was a... That was a little too goaded. What the heck? <laughs> wow. So, this is Sumeru? There are so many huge mushrooms. Oh, Yoi Mia's in Sumeru now. Lion. <laughs> Whoa, Archon Quest? <laughs> Hold up. That was a pretty uh, significant cutscene right there. In before Hoyoverse is like, yo, Yoi Mia has been done dirty on every banner, so we gave her her own story quest part two, despite her not being an Archon. Like, that kind of looked like a significant cutscene. Hello, everyone. If not Welcome a to story the quest. Impact version 3.7 special program. Alrighty. Is that Kilala's little cat in the corner? Look at that. <laughs> Look at the bottom corner. You can actually see something. Oh, for sure. It's been mentioned in several places throughout the game now. And if I remember correctly, Mona also writes a column for the steambird yep so it seems like it's pretty famous and people all across oh the man they're dripping yes, out fontaine right. already in before i really hope they give us concept art at the end that'd be great that splash art looks great too all right so is kokomi the leader then i thought it was kazuha i really like that of each region so she's basically march 7th asta and and yanfei in one summoner's summit oh we got a new weapon a four star uh four star bow is, i assume kilal is a bow user then i didn't see how they were attacking in that because i got distracted by the Cat. <laughs> You'll be able to obtain 
commemorative stamps at the checkpoints. Collect more of these stamps during your sightseeing tour to obtain the corresponding rewards. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. It's just kind of like going back around locations we've already been to. That's kind of that's kind of nostalgic. Unlike the official tournament matches, this format adopts a special rule set. Mm? So you won't be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, Yo! Oh, Zhang Li! Cards out of the decks prepared by the organizer. Yo, Zhang Li card? Are, you'll get to duel against some Hold up! <laughs> <laughs> They're adding Archons now? Right. What about Evermotion? And Hypostasis? And oh, another Use combat event. Okay. Consume all the dice you possess and unleash Wait. a shockwave that deals damage to Is this dungeon opponent. dice monsters? Did they just... <laughs> Yo, did Move they literally just take a page out of the spinoff Yu-Gi-Oh! event too? It's literally Dungeon Dice, Dungeon box. Dice Monsters. Okay, Holy shit. Feel, that is so cool. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. That may be all for the version event, oh. but I still have something else to report. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. In version 3.7, there are all of them? the Genius Invocation event, but also a major update Whoa. to the TCG game itself. What? A major okay, update. Awesome. What can we expect to see in the new I'm update? getting all of them. So in the upcoming version, many new cards will be added to Genius Invocation TV. I have to get all of them. Character cards, monster cards, I have to. Cards. Add Albedo, Amazing. damn it. I got so caught up in listening to you two talking that I almost forgot that I'm on the job. This is her talk. Here I am. Kiwawa. <laughs> I have an urgent delivery for you. Please sign here, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a- Oh my god, Kilala's delivery oh service? God. Get out Thank of here. You. Was that was that a Kiki's delivery service reference? <laughs> She's like, I need you to sign here. I have your delivery package. Oh my god. Oh, How she plays. The scenery here is wonderful. <laughs> I love her design. She's so job. cute. Oh shit, she does like this freaking crazy kick. Slash attacks. Oh, she just- Wait, she catalyst? Coming through. She fights kind of like Hazo with her. <laughs> she doesn't have a weapon. Oh! Oh my God, that's that's too cute. Stop. Kiara works as a courier for Komania Express and often makes international deliveries. Wow. She's also a yokai from Inazuma called a Nekomata, and there's nothing she can't deliver. Yo, she's a yokai? Nekomata. Oh shit, that's kind of cool. Yeah, and she's got the two tails. She's the two-tailed Jinchuriki. Kiara is a Dendro Element Sword user and can. Oh, sword! Where's the sword? So making world exploration more efficient. What do you mean a sword user? Look amazing. She swipes just. Just like a cat using its claws. That's kind of cool though. So they're like she substituting the weapon for actual custom animations, which is interesting. So it's like she's a sword user, but she uses her claws to fight. So they're just changing up the animation style, which is kind of neat. So they're basically doing it for Hazo, but it, it extends beyond just the catalyst. We thought it was like, oh, they'll, that's a cool way to circumvent a catalyst, but they, they're doing it with all weapons, which is kind of neat. <laughs> Aloy power crap. <laughs> yeah, so she makes it so she like, animals won't run away from her. Aloy is just becoming less and less valuable. Holding down the elemental skill will not only grant shields, but also oh! put Kirara in a unique state. Cool. So the whole thing is oh that that's the cutest thing Oh my ever seen god. Life, and I need you to immediately tell me more about it right now. This <laughs> is no so cool. In this state, we become the bo the cat box. <laughs> slamming into enemies, but more uniquely, this state will also drastically increase her movement and climbing speed along with her jump. Oh ability. my god. Okay. Um, I can use that to scale walls. So just so I can get this straight, she'll be able to oh, climb straight up walls. Oh my. Oh yeah, she'll be able to go straight up over <laughs> State. Um, exploration okay. well, just got amazing. freaking buff. Oh my god, chat. He's gonna change the exploration meta. That is so sick. I love that. So, aside from Kirara running to various nations making deliveries, I also heard about another one of our friends leaving their home to explore oh. the world. Yoimiya? Ooh, so who wants Hold to go up. on a trip? Oh my gosh, wait, is it you and Mia? You guys are like looking <laughs> oh, at me, a humble oh. PNG. Amazing, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I love Jenny, I she's so fun. You might be knowledgeable about traveling across nature. Oh! You have information on Yoimiya's story quest. She's the first I character to get a story quest a part two that's not an Archon. <laughs> okay, so. Yoimiya so unconfirmed Archon. <laughs> Mia has been wanting to go out and see the outside world. Oh my God. Yoimiya Havers rejoice. 
She will be embarking on a globe trotting adventure, <laughs> heading to some chat. information of wisdom. <laughs> My chat's going uh, crazy right now. It's a pretty far trip. That's I mean, huge. I'm really looking forward to it too. Not that I'm biased or anything. That means it's possible for anybody. Oh my God, give me uh, Albedo story quest part I'd two, please. Know. Honestly wondering what new companions can travelers invite for their teams in version 3.7. Right, that takes us oh, to our event. The event wishes. I Who? think this is something- Okay, I, I think it's Yoi Mia with Kiara. So for further details about 3.7's- And I don't know what the second half is gonna be. Please direct your attention to the big screen. Ta-da! No, wh oh. where did that come from? Oh. I just remember Yeah, Midco. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Damn. Anything, any excuse to not put Eula on the banner, bro. I'm telling you. Okay, so am I gonna- And the second half of version 3.0. I'll hate them again? We'll see Kaidahara, Kazuma, this quickly? and hate them getting their own reruns. I'm surprised. Yeah, I guess they're running out of time to rerun Sumeru characters. <laughs> when follow Yoimiya to Sumeru, they might also encounter their old friend Kabe. This is because Kabe's- <laughs> will also be available in version 3.7. <laughs> we just yeah, did the event with Kave yesterday. Seems super carefree. He oh my god. I'm sure as we spend time with him during the hangout, we'll get to know him a lot better. Oh, this is going to be no so cool. <laughs> So travelers wow, they're picking up the hangouts Kabe. again. We just got Farazan and Layla not too long ago. That's going to be really fun. Now that we've covered the new stories coming our way, I think we can move on to Divine Ingenuity. Fun events coming in version 3.7. Wait a minute. Wait, is, is, is this, is this the, the, the freaking, the, 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 the Mario Maker game mode? Oh my god, dude. I spent like seven hours playing that. I love that event. Dude, I had so much fun in that event. Dude, I loved the original Divine Ingenuity. I had so much fun playing a bunch of people's like custom made uh like custom made and i got a lot of first uh like world records like i was the first person to complete a lot of the the ones that i did and they were super hard that was one of my most fun streams i've ever done that's cool too because this seems like they're adding mobs now whereas last time it was only structures so that's kind of cool wow this is gonna be painful oh you could add monsters dude there's someone's gonna add all the freaking biggie churls all the freaking lawa it's just a room full of lawa churls <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. We have some masochists in this community, I tell you. I'm so excited. I'm literally gonna spend a whole stream doing this, like playing other people's modes. I had so much. That's like one of my favorite events in all of Genshin was the original. When to get enough phase tinctures, they can use them to enter the time dilation state. In this state, they can time dilation. Oh, this is where this is where Weishni's time dilation went. It went to Genshin Impact, of course. I've been waiting like almost ten years for this shit, and Genshin gets time dilation before Ruby does. That's so great. I love that. I love that. I love how it just reminds me of something that I still do not have. I'm so mad. <laughs> Ruby Volume Nine just ended, and I'm going through it right now. Leave me alone. Uh, I'll be honest with you. The event uh, or this patch seems kind of light. It seems heavily like front loaded with tcg stuff and then back loaded with like combat stuff so to be honest that's kind of what i need right now i still haven't done the desert area of uh of 3.6 we just finished up the like the cave darshan event yesterday and i'm also focusing on star rail at the moment so i'm kind of glad that i can take my time with this one and that's the end of today's report nice Seems like all our reporters i'm so excited for fontaine actually like the conclusion this character tease they know so what they're doing fun. bro i kind of wonder I've then if the next patch is the last time, patch before Fontaine because so last year we got 2.8 and then we got 3.0 so if we get 3.8 I wonder if we're gonna get a 3.9 like if they're gonna stretch it out all the way to 4.0 at this point you know maybe next patch we'll get all the Fontaine stuff kind of like how they gave it all to us at once with uh with Dendro and Sumeru all right this is the end of our program Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye. 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 All righty. <laughs> that was nice. Minor, but. Oh! <laughs> oh! We're underwater. Oh!
swim anywhere or is this exclusive to Fontaine? Oh my god holy shit guys that was the only thing they were showing it was it was lagging because that was it like it was it was ending that's the only tease that they're gonna give us oh my dude under what is fontaine like underwater sheesh we're going scuba diving i'm glad they gave us something i was a little like are they really just gonna go this entire patch without alluding to fontaine at all aether swimming underwater i almost feel like that that would have to be like an exclusive regional thing otherwise they would have to like remap the entire fucking underwater system of their game to kind of compensate for aether actually learning how to swim now oh my god that means i can that means i'm actually gonna drown underwater too i definitely have to make a name for myself i have to like i don't even know how that's possible for aether like bro can you just breathe underwater wow i'm so excited bro underwater traversal you thought exploring the overworld was terror was was crazy and overwhelming they're gonna add chests in these little freaking coral crevices at the bottom of the ocean and you're gonna swim down there you're gonna fucking risk it for the biscuit for that fight for those two primo gems good god the exploration if they have underwater exploration my goose is cooked bro i'm actually done i'm done for please don't fuck up underwater combat if you had it most games do not get underwater combat right i don't please Hello. or maybe just keep it solely exploration based like let me look at the fish let me like explore the underwater aspects of the region that'd be cool if they have like some crazy technology down there like i don't know if there's like some conry machines that have fallen in the water and have just been rusting over time or like some underwater domains that have these cool secrets regarding the archon or the lock folk i think that would be kind of cool i i would just prefer if they keep underwater strictly exploration based and like quest based um but it really depends like if they add a whole new underwater mechanic kind of like how dendro shook up the game too um that's gonna be huge i'm i'm ugh, i'm gonna be so excited it's kind of sorta in a way similar to like them adding the wave rider you can literally get on your wave rider in liwe and swim and use it to swim to liwe i think or like back to mon uh like through like around the coast of monstat and stuff like that but i just don't know what they plan on doing but if they literally change underwater traversal across the whole game i have no fucking clue how they're gonna do that but um if it's within fontaine itself like certain scuba diving areas kind of like how there are certain fishing spots i think that's acceptable and immersive enough that it would be kind of cool to experience it still damn paimon's gonna be uh i don't know man paimon's gonna get some ptsd because she almost drowned at the beginning of the game right like i don't know how paimon's gonna make i don't know how that's gonna work out for her god that was so cool imagine that dude imagine them giving us like a 10 second cut of underwater stuff and that's all we're talking about like the the i'll just say the patch itself is fine it's minor hoyo versus like we have our new game out we don't want people worrying about genshin right now let's just give them something filler something minor we just gave them a new area we just gave them nahita story quest we just gave them a new uh a new event um this is great I, I i actually like how how uh how like minor and like simple it is because i don't want to go into this overwhelmed i still have to finish 3.6 content and now they're ramping up for fontaine which is likely going to be here by the end of the year which is exciting bro they're gonna put hydroculus underwater what mark my words bro hydroculus underwater like what better spot to put those little bastards in oh my god that's so exciting i'm just thinking of like how immersive that's going to be how like breathtaking and novel the concept of having underwater exploration what's it gonna sound like the music that's gonna play when we're underwater what it's gonna look like visually how clear are we gonna be able to see things underwater like are we gonna be able to like walk on the bottom of the ocean floor and then like swim to certain like i'm just like my mind is literally going crazy with all possibilities of what could happen i'm, I'm so excited for that yeah another thing too is like what if we uh what if they allow us to leave an area like we just start swimming out of fontaine's like jurisdiction and we we end up in the dark sea and then it, it gets like super sus and scary oh my gosh that's so exciting that's so fun man i can't wait i can't wait for the patch i really really liked this <laughs> subnautica oh uh, that'd be so sick though like what if we find like what if we find the hydro dragon or like some type of because like Hello every again. region talks about conria every region has like some crazy abyss story or some cataclysm story or some conria story and like I, I i really want that story to take place underwater actually like i i, I really want that i think I, I just think that would be so cool and different bro i'm manifesting this art conquest i swear to god everything i'm saying they're like write that down write that down we got to start writing we got to start revising this art conquest arnold is just giving us so much food right 
right now. Oh, I, I, I can't wait, dude. I'm so excited, man. And we got teased of, uh, you know, the Steam Bird, and we already know about certain characters like the, uh, like the Daydreamer Society and like the Energy Crisis that's currently going on in Fontaine, and um, like the Justice, like the whole Justice legal system, and I wonder how that's all gonna kind of coexist. And then we know that the Lock Folk, right, the Oceanids, are from Fontaine, so I'm assuming that there's gonna be a story there potentially. Fingers crossed for another Endora quest for people who never got to do Endora's quest from version 1.4. Uh, that would be kind of cool to have another pet or a continuation of that quest line. I think that would be pretty cool. There's just so much potential for Fontaine. It's so exciting. And um, I also feel like this new region, I really feel like, I, I don't know why, but I really feel like Fontaine needs to be the patch where they start teasing Celestia's involvement with things because it just feels kind of weird that we are going into the halfway point of the game and they have not been a factor. Sustainer of Heavenly Principles hasn't been a factor. I know we got the Fatui. I know that that's kind of like the main threat that we're dealing with at the moment. And we got Winter Nights Lazo last year, but like, it just seems a little weird. I'm going to say this right now too. Y'all can clip this if you want. I actually think in my heart of hearts, like this is like what I just said now is like hopeful expectations. But what I actually think is going to happen is uh, I actually think if any Archon is going to like any present day Archon is going to die, it's going to be unfortunately the Pyro Archon for obvious reasons. Um, If the high, if the Pyro Archon is in fact uh, Himiko in the present day or in the past, I just think that's when Celestia is going to get involved, when the Pyro Archon becomes a factor. And uh, I, I actually think that's when they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna pop off. And it's right before Snezhnaya where everything starts coming together. Because Celestia doesn't really have to do anything. They just have to, like, watch and wait. And I think they're going to expect us to show up. But um, but yeah, I'm also wondering what 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 Fatui Harbinger is going to have jurisdiction over the Fatui in Fontaine, right? Like we essentially have a different um Fatui conflict at every region, right? We had Child in Liyue, La Signora in Inazuma, Scaramouche in in, in Sumeru. So I'm just kind of like, I wonder who's next. That's gonna be exciting too. But I can't wait. Wow, that really hyped me the fuck up. Holy shit.